a group of tiny islands situated at the western side of Palawan. It is a popular island hopping spot among tourists, filled with various resorts and creamy colored sandy beaches. A perfect place to put your swimming gear and do other water activities under the heat of the sun. Okay, so now we're going to Pambaturi. Pambaturi, kung muna tayo. That's the first destination. Uh, ano bang meron sa Pambaturi? It's a snorkeling and swimming, fish feeding. If you have red jam, you can feed them, the fish there in Pambaturi. And then after Pambaturi, we will proceed to Starfish Island. They call it Starfish Island. It's uh, because lots of starfish in the island. And then another area for our destination is the Luli Island, the Lulubugilitao Island or Float and Sink Island. It depends on the time. This island hopping trip was arranged by Miss Agnes of Travel 360 Tours and Company. Okay, ma'am, sir. This is the Honda Bay. They call this Honda Bay from the old Spanish word Honda Agua or Honda Aqua. It means deep sea or deep water. Okay, po. Yan po yung tinawag nilang Honda Bay. It's a group of islands and islands. But most of the islands and islands of Honda Bay are private islands. Some of the islands lang po yung mga open for business. But most of them, close pa po siya. It's because of the pandemic then. Okay, po. So enjoy our activity until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Hanggang 4 lang po tayo, ha? Kasi they, we need to go back sa port area po natin before 5 o'clock para ma-check ng Coast Guard for safety and security reason lang po, okay? Oh, okay. okay. So, so, this one is oh, located here. Oh, okay. So, okay. so okay. si Grace Burnham, that's to say, si Martin na matelo, so, si Myra, no? Oh, yes. Katamas na mo. Oh, oh. So, anyway, for that not to happen again, so the American government will be ready to go to that in the store. Pati mga boats yan, yung mga patrol boats na yan, the change for that, they're going to put up the area here 24-7. Yeah. So, since 2004 up to now, so far, wala na. So, what, what 
One of the best snorkeling spots is the Pambato Reef, covering 16 hectares of coral reefs and a wide diversity of fish species where colorful marine life can be seen. Kinuha namin ang aming mga dalang tinapay to feed the fishes and eventually colorful fishes swarm below us. Palagi akong tinatanong ni Din, nakita mo ma'am, nakita mo ma'am, o oh, gusto mo ikaw na naman ang mag-feed ma'am? <laughs> Kakatuwa din talaga ang mag-fish feeding and snorkeling doon sa Pambato Reef. Thank you, Dean and Boboy, for helping me out to meet them up close, alive, and swimming. The high concentration of marine biodiversity on the surrounding areas makes the place perfect for snorkeling indeed. We arrived at Starfish Island at lunchtime and took our buffet lunch here. We also had photo op sessions with Optical Illusions artists based in this island. Ito rock lobster, ma'am. Ito yung shells abalone. Ito yung abalone, yung pinakamagawa. Ito, ma'am, 11 that lazy crab. May talakitok po, may pusit. Yan, talakitok. Nakita ko yung lobster. Opo, mayroon, ma'am. Bumibili din ako ng mga fresh abalone and saang pinaluto ko and took home for dinner doon sa resort. Baby po. Ano, may baby? Ayun, marami o. Ito, ordinary lang ito dito. Ordinary lang ito dito sa Palawan. Sige. Papano natin? Ito daw. Punin mo muna ito yung ano. Lapsa ito at saka ito is ano? Scallops. Scallops. Ang laki-laki na scallops nila. Ha-ha-ha.
Luli Island got its name from its shifting sandbar. During high tide, this sandbar is submerged with water and is visible during low tide. Thus, its name from coined from Lulupo Dilitao. During our visits, it's evident that bago pa lang ito nag high tide dahil marami pang water na tira sa sandbar. The best time to visit is during the dry season from November to April and during off-peak and done holidays as it tends to get crowded due to its popularity among locals and tourists. Kaya swerte kami, the place is not too crowded during our visit.